and Tyler is wearing the gray board shorts. Vladimir in the red corner and uh, Tyler in the blue corner. And here we go, touch of gloves and uh, we're started. And open up with a big leg kick by Vladimir. Right off the bat. Good circle. Not a lot of head movement. Ooh, that left hook was meant, meant for murder. Both these guys are looking a little stiff, and I was just going to say, throwing bombs. The big right hand lands by Vladimir. Man, good on Tyler. That was a hard right hand. Tyler really needs to keep his composure here and start moving his head. Because once you get hit once like that, man, you, 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 you can't take a shot. You just got to keep that left hand up because Vladimir is looking to throw that right bomb. Vladimir's head hunting right now. We can tell, guys. That was, ooh. Everyone just swinging and banging right now. Tyler needs to keep that left hand up because Vladimir is looking for that bomb. You can see him cocking it back. Not a lot of head movement, guys. Oh, nice jab. Oh, man, that was an overhand that just missed again. I'm telling you, man, Tyler's got to start moving that head. Just like a softball pitch. Right there. Now, here's the issue, Joe, that happens when uh, a fighter lands a good punch. Is sometimes they go head hunting, and uh, Vladimir needs to look to set that right hand up. Because right now, he's, he's confident he can land it, but as you can see here, uh, Tyler's still dangerous. And from Tyler's record with his uh, three wins by rear naked choke, this is uh, this is where he wants to be. I think he's gonna. Oh, right into the front face lock. And he's and they're up against the fence. I think Tyler's still trying to calm down. I think he got hit yeah. with that big shot, and I think he's still trying to clear out the cobwebs. Tyler's looking for a break here. I really think yeah, uh, Vlad's still say, coming Vladimir in with it. Is looking for that right hand, man. He just really he needs to set it up, and there he goes with the yep. jab of the body. But he just can't telegraph it. He knows he can land it, but so does Tyler now. Oh, oh and he's just missing with it. He's just gonna step in a bit more, and Tyler needs to start moving and keep that left hand up, man, because Vladimir is throwing bombs. Yeah, Vladimir's liking that jab of the body too, Chris. Set up the stuff. Oh, spin him back. Chris. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh my God. These phantom weights are swinging leather, folks. Yes. Boys are getting body wild shots. there, and a beautiful left hook to the body by Vladimir. I'm seeing Vlad sneaking some some body shots here, which is probably a good idea, where he's trying to throw in this bomb as well. Yeah, it's gonna help him set up that 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 big right hand that he likes and is landing. Yeah, I like that he's going to the body on the left side because that's going to distract Tyler from that big right hand, as we see. And they, you got to think, folks, these guys are 135 pounds, and Vladimir is swinging for the fences. Right there, Tyler shot, and uh, Vladimir stopped it beautifully. It was a good shot by Tyler, but it was a beautiful uh, defense by Vladimir. A nice right. Vladimir's really working the body here, and what I like is that he... I, I, I think he learned from Tyler landing that takedown, and he knows he needs to set that right hand up now. And that's what he's doing. And a beautiful one-two there. How many of those have landed tonight, Chris? Uh, a couple significant. I think a lot of them are glazing. But, uh, yeah, you know, uh, Tyler's going to watch out, man. Ooh, now with now the left, left hook. hand. Yeah, the left hook's landing, too. Well, that's what it is. I think Tyler, he's got him guessing about that big overhand coming. Now he's throwing stuff from the left side, right? Let's, let's get to Tyler here. Tyler really needs to uh, make some improvements in his game, uh, in this fight rather. Uh, he's in on a single right now, which is great, and uh, he's got a he's got a scramble, man. We're right in front of us here, folks. I, I tell you, if uh, Vladimir ever wants a career in pro softball, he has the whip pitch to get it done. I tell you that right now. I think Tyler should start to work for a clinch rather than standing on the inside and, and looking for strikes here. He needs to tie Vladimir up and, and try to slow him down. And a nice takedown there. Beautiful timing. And this is exactly what Tyler needed. It's a good, it's a good uh, opportunity for him to rest his brain a little. Good break. Vladimir's going right into butterfly, but Tyler's trying to pass right into mount. Oh, yeah. He's trying to push in there. He's just trying to find the right angle, it seems. And now he's right in the elbow. Okay. 
That's where we're at. Okay, perfect. Vladimir's using a really nice butterfly guard here, guys. Yeah, he's really able to keep that distance away. He wants to keep Tyler away from him. What a round. What a round, guys. We're very lucky to get this high like, a fight like this in St. John. Even uh, even though Tyler got the, the takedown at the end, I would definitely still give that round to Vladimir just based on, on damage and strikes landed. Absolutely. Those right hands, I don't know how Tyler's standing, to be honest with you. That, those were landing clean and hard. However, judges do like the takedowns, and they do like it at the end of the round, too. So, But uh, logically speaking, from my perspective, uh, Vladimir won that round. What I'm seeing right out in the corner, actually, is Vlad's taking some really big, deep breaths compared to Tyler. So I wonder if maybe he may have went all out with his gas tank on that first round. Well, those, every time those big punches miss, Ray, you're, it's, all that energy is going nowhere. So it really wears you out. It wears you out worse than, uh, than if you hit. If you hit, it's like an adrenaline rush. When you miss, it's just like you're swinging at air. It's no good. So you see that last takedown that uh, Tyler landed it's because he set it up from uh, uh, Vladimir's leg kick, I believe. And uh, that's what he needs to do, man. Stop shooting so far on the outside, right? This is MMA. We're not wrestling. He needs to look to, to change levels. Maybe as Vladimir throws that big right hand. And the other thing I really like from Vlad is the body shots, the, uh, the jabs. And he was throwing some really beautiful right hands to body in that first round. Let's see what happens this time. Yeah, you're right, Joe. I think there's a bit more respect this round off the bat. I think Vlad might be a little bit tired. Oh, and there's that big right hand again. Tyler, Tyler's a good, uh, you can tell he has good takedowns, but it's, he's not setting them up that quickly. It's like, it's just, it's, it's not being fluid. He's not setting it up with the hands. He's just sort of shooting out of nowhere. Good point, Joe, and that, that's that's what MMA wrestling is, right? You need to you need to chain it with the striking, change levels as the other guy strikes. However, I do like as he shot for that last takedown. Immediately he broke off and threw strikes. Nice spinning back kick to the body there by uh, Vladimir. It seems like Tyler's trying to find his confidence to break in there too. It's uh, it seems like it's still Vlad's game right now. In the stand up. I think Vlad's trying to compose himself. I think he's a little bit tired here from that first round. He was throwing a lot of heavy shots. Oh man, that right hand. Vladimir almost punched a hole in the canvas there. He threw that right hand so far away with so much power. If he hit himself, it would hurt for God's sakes. I'm not gonna lie guys, I don't think I've seen a 135er throw such a hard punch. None that make weight. <laughs> One of these gentlemen this week. No, I'm just saying most of the guys with the big punches and at 135 normally are guys that miss weight. Yeah, no, Vlad's definitely got hands, man. Oh, that was a good jab landed by Tyler, however. I think Tyler really needs to do. I, I feel like if he lands more of those stiff jabs, it, uh, it makes uh, Vladimir a little more hesitant to throw that right hand. Yeah, Tyler's, I think he's starting to find his range. I think he's starting to settle in. I think he's feeling that Vlad might be... Uh, might be diminishing a bit, but Vlad's still landing, he's still moving good, but you can tell he's trying to bounce, get those lactic acid out of the legs. Because man, those right hands would take a lot out of a normal person. Like, <laughs> well, here's the thing, uh, although the right hand is landing, I feel like Tyler may have a little confidence because none of, you know, he did get stunned a bit in that first round, but um, now he, he seems to be eating them pretty good, like that one. So uh, I think, you know, he, he's confident he can eat the shots. That was a good entry and a good takedown defense by Vladimir. They're right in front of us here, folks. This is fun, eh, Joe? This is crazy. Uh, this is Tyler amazing. has an over-under uh, pushing Vlad up against the cage. Yeah. And he oh, flips him over. Oh. oh. They're fighting. They're fighting Ooh. for the wall, and they are back to the center of the ring. I think a right hand landed pretty good there from Vlad. That might have hurt uh, Tyler a little bit in that exchange. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see from where we're sitting, right? Because when they're right in front of you, you, tr you can't really see a lot of the Beautiful stuff. Beautiful leg kick by Vladimir. Though. And now he's throwing a big left. Just amazing. Oh. I think Vlad just needs to throw more than one. He's just head hunting right now. And although it's connecting, uh, Tyler's keeping his hands up better now, so it's in on the rope. Yeah. So now we got the over-under for Vlad up against Cage. Tyler versus. 
Nice knee to the body. Again, guys, for people who don't really understand MMA or educated, this is a very, very taxing position. Oh, and this is a great position for Tyler to uh, slow Vladimir down a bit. Some nice knees landed, too. We can hear those. Oh, he's going for that drop lateral there. He's, like, he's loving those knees to the body. He's, he, from a short distance, man, he's landing some pretty good knees. You can hear them. He's turning his hip around, landing them inside. Definitely good control here by Tyler. This is a good sign for him. And uh, uh, um, uh, a switch in momentum. Yeah, he's, landing, he's throwing elbows, he's throwing everything. He's got the hands clasped. He's double unders right now, guys. I double under position. And uh, I like what he's doing here. He's not rushing the takedown. Uh, but he got it there. <laughs> On top, inside, open, the guard's open, but it's full guard. Seeing Vlad slow down a little bit here, Joe. I think so. Oh, he might be trying for an armbar here. Oh, yeah. There could be something funky going on here. I think Vlad prefers the uh, the butterfly position. I don't know how he's going to do with this. Uh, it's guard. Uh, Tyler's working a nice knee slice pass, but he, he stays in the half guard. Some guys like to stay in half guard. It's easier to pound down, right? If you're going to pound down. It actually looks like Tyler's really comfortable in the half guard right now. Just landing his punches that he needs to land. Ten seconds left to get something done here, guys. That was a good elbow landed by Tyler there. And uh, I think we're seeing a, a switch in momentum here, man. Uh, I got it 1 1. And, uh, you know, the, the, the momentum has, has gone towards Tyler's favor. And, uh, you know, well, let's see what uh, Vlad can do in between rounds here and how well he recovers. 100%. How much do you think that first round took out of Vlad throwing those heavy shots and what you said, go, uh, head hunting, as you said? Uh, as Sorry, Joe. Uh, as we spoke of, you know, like, when you land a good shot, like he did, I think it was the first 20 seconds of that first round, he stunned him. He dropped the one knee. But um, it seems like he's been head hunting from that point. And to throw those big, powerful punches, it, uh, it takes a lot out of you. And, uh, you know, that's, they say sometimes power is a, uh, it's a gift, but it's also a curse because you know you have that power and sometimes you don't try to set it up with technique. And not saying Vladimir's not using technique, but uh, I think he's a little too excited to trying to knock Tyler out right now. And uh, it could cost him the judge's decision if he doesn't make some adjustments this round. Yeah, well, that's, it's just as you said, he landed that shot clean. He felt that it hurt him. And now he, he feels like he can get, still land that, right? It's, it's almost a pride thing. He threw it, and he, he, he knows he can finish with it, but I think Tyler has uh, something else to say about that. I, I, like I said, I think Tyler's got a little more confidence now that he, he's ate the shots, and, uh, you know, he, he knows he can eat it, right? Not to say, you know, he's going to go in there and keep his chin out and, you know, purposely want to get hit by that because obviously Vladimir throws bombs, but... Tyler's uh, more confident right now. And these guys, this is round three of a war, right? Like, oh, oh, that was a nice snap kick. And we definitely see Vladimir uh, wearing a little bit. You can tell by his facial expression, by the way he's moving. He's, he's slowing down a little bit. That snap front kick to the face was nice. Oh, spinning back fist by Vlad, though. You can tell the magicians are digging deep in the hat now. They're trying to get their special techniques they've been working. And Tyler's really switching. Oh, that was beautiful. Ducked under the spinning back fist to get the double unders. I think this is good for Vlad, though. I mean, uh, Tyler, my bad. Um, anything to make Vlad work. But hey, if Vlad gets his takedown and uh, control, this is, uh, yeah, this is great. <laughs> yeah, Tyler's posting on his right hand, trying to make space, get back to his feet, get a guard maybe. They're right in front of us here, folks. We could just reach out and touch them right now. Oh, Tyler back to his feet. Just keep his hip up against the cage. Beautiful technique with the back get up. Vlad has double unders with the wizard. Tyler's corner really yelling at, his, at Adam to really put the pressure on Vlad. Yeah, I just heard them yell, he's exhausted. It looks like Vlad's hands are getting quite low. He's taking agonizing breaths right now, guys. He is tired, man. But he's still pushing forward, so well, who am I to say? And you know what? I, I, I like what uh, Vladimir's doing right now. Um, 
you know, maybe maybe he's, maybe he's thinking, I can't land that right hand, you know, I gotta stop headhunting. And at the end of the day, man, control on the ground, like, we're 1-1, right? If uh, whoever gets this takedown and, and can control might, might win this fight, so. Man, those knees to the body are not nice. Those are painful. And they, especially this late in the fight, oh. Nice, oh. beautiful elbow there by Tyler. I, he, he does some real nice work here in the clinch. Just whipping the knees into the into the uh, into the quadricep there. People have no idea how much that hurts. Oh, they think it's people look at it. They're like, how come they're not punching him in the head? Like that's not you're wearing someone down. It's like getting Charlie Horse at the max level. Wow, referee stopped him. Wow, beautiful knee the body here, and uh, I think we're on a, a different angle, but um. Eric, Eric, the referee, uh, saw something that we didn't, and uh, Vladimir is, is, is hurt right now. It looks like he's holding his rib. Um, I want to go ahead and say that he may have broken a rib there. Yeah, the referee saw something that we didn't there, for sure. And uh, it was obviously a good stoppage, because Vladimir is in pain right now. Um, and obviously a, a beautiful knee by uh, Tyler. Well, just as we said, we said how those people don't think that those hurt people. That is a lot of pain. I'm, I'm really impressed by uh, Tyler's work in the clinch, man. Uh, Vladimir obviously had the, uh, the, the, the better of the exchanges on the outside, but in the clinch, man, this, uh, this kid knows what he's doing. That was impressive. Well, let's give props to uh, Vladimir as well. That, he was throwing some bombs. He was in that fight the whole time. That was a war of a fight, guys. Doctors here checking Vladimir out. And that's what we got to consider, guys. This is a very brutal sport. A any man who steps in this cage deserves all the respect in the world. Yeah. That was a uh, so it's his right side. So that's his liver side, guys. That's a liver shot. So when that stuff hits, it's just what I said about the last uh, body shot. Uh, I believe it was Mr. Saint. Uh, I forget the fighters now, but the uh, what happens is it just shuts your whole body down. You can't move. You can't think. If your brain wants to keep going, but your body just says no. And it's interesting because initially I, I was like, I thought that was an early stoppage, right? I didn't see what happened. Then we saw a flag go down and, uh, it, you know, obviously Eric saw something that we didn't, man. It, it, you know, obviously his facial expression or something, but it was a legit stoppage because Vlad is uh, hurt, you know. Yeah. Where, uh, where we're sitting, guys, it's uh, we have a corner post. It's just they ended up in a spot that we didn't expect them to be. Like, we had, we had great views the whole fight, but that last couple seconds, we... Uh, we just couldn't see what went on, but we know what happened, and that's all. That's what happened. So now uh, the the crowd celebrating uh, Vlad getting up here, which is which is very nice to see. As I said, man, all these guys they, they deserve so much respect. They put so much on the line, and uh, this is such a dangerous sport. And you know, great great fight by Vladimir and both men. It's one hard way to make a living, as well as you know. <laughs> one mistake in there, man. One mistake, and you know you could be winning the whole fight. And uh, that fight right there, I, I thought we were one apiece. That that round was close, and uh, one mistake, one one knee slipped in, bang, over. So let's give it to the official and the ring announcer to find out uh, to give the official decision. say guys we have two fights left of the evening uh, next up we're gonna have Mark Ebert against Brad Sullivan and then we're gonna get ready for our main event of Matthew D. Marcantonio versus Dan Gibbon I'm really excited for this next fight Joe um, I don't want to uh, we'll talk about it in a minute because uh, these Warriors still deserve uh, respect but uh, this next fight I think is gonna be fireworks 100%. Uh, really, just the thought of what happened, uh, just as you said, Vladimir had the best of the first round. Uh, second round went to Tyler. And then that third round, uh, the change in the, uh, the stand-up was really the biggest thing that happened. 
Uh, Tyler was diversifying what he was throwing, and then he ended up in that clinch, posi clinch position. Three, Aaron Devin has called the summit in fight at 2 minutes 38 seconds of the third round. Due to the verbal tap out, due to knee strikes, for the winner by TKO in the blue corner from Kingston, Ontario, Tyler Wilson. Okay, so what we just found out here, guys, was actually a verbal tap out. Um, I guess uh, Vladimir called it off, and that's that's what we're all confused about. At least myself, curious what happened. Um, and uh, yeah, Vladimir called it off, and you know, Vladimir's a, a, a tough warrior, man. So you know, you know that shot was legit, and based on how we uh, he dropped afterwards.